Hey yo, Decipher here. We just received Season 4 Call of Duty Modern Warfare and there are some new treats in store for you guys that play Warzone. There's a new battle pass, new skins, new weapons, new ways for you to come back into the game on battle royales and a new fun game mode called Warzone Rumble, which is what I'm going to be giving you guys tips and strategies on today. Before we get into it, this is a new channel for me and I would very much appreciate a subscribe as well as any comments you have about the content or the video itself. Without further ado, let's get into it. The Warzone Rumble mode pits 50 players versus 50 players in a deathmatch scenario with the first team who reaches 400 kills being the winner. Instead of using the whole Verdansk map like you would in Plunder or Battle Royale, you would fight in a subset of the map like Military Base, Lumberyard, or Port surrounded in a circle by gas. However, the gas will not be enclosing the circle as time passes. Nonetheless, it is still a large map and probably a good scenario for you to get some sniper training in if you needed it. There are no buy stations, no supply box to open. You'll be receiving your loadout at the beginning of the map similar to plunder. There are also no armor plates to pick up, so expect to be dying or killing people much faster than you would in battle royale or plunder. You'll also not be downed, you just die. Then respawn a few seconds later. With that said, let's get into some tips and strategies. There are vehicles in this map. Whether it's an ATV or helicopter, some will be laying around for you to use. However, I do not recommend it. Once you start driving a vehicle, You'll be lit up on the map and have at least 10 people shooting in your direction. What would be viable is if you have passengers and you want to drop them off to flank from the sides. The terrain will vary from some that have a lot of buildings and cover to a map that mainly has trees and hills. You may want to change your playstyle and loadout based on the type of terrain you fight in. Since everyone will have their loadout available at the beginning of the match, this is the most important thing to change when going into the fight. For the perks, I recommend using Cold-Blooded Overkill and Tracker. Cold-Blooded will hide you from the thermal optics, which many people will be using once they realize you'll have to be shooting at people from over 100 meters away. Like I said, Warzone Rumble is ripe for sniping. There is a 100% chance snipers will be shooting at you in this game mode, even when you're pair shooting it. Well, because I've shot pair shooters my many times myself. Overkill will allow you to pick up that secondary gun like a sniper rifle or pair up a long-range assault rifle with a short-range SMG. The action will be intense and non-stop once you get closer to enemy lines. This is why I recommend Tracker. It will allow you to see an enemy's trailing footprints for about 7 seconds before it goes away. It's rare for someone to stay still for too long because there's a high likelihood to get sniped and if you fire your gun, you're going to show up on the minimap and expose your location. Viable alternatives are the Ghost Perk instead of Overkill if you don't want to be seen on heartbeat sensors while rushing and the Double Time Perk isn't bad if you simply want to get back into the fight faster. You will also get the field upgrade that you choose, and you should almost always pick a munitions box, especially if you are sniping because the 15 or so bullets you start with will not last long. There is no ammunition just lying around the map for you to pick up. You can however grab ammo from a teammate's munitions box. The only other field upgrades worth considering is dead silence to run faster and stay hidden. Tactical insertion can be fun if you go up the side and flank. The main downside there is that it takes forever to recharge. Try it out anyway. It will let you respond back where you put down the insertion. I personally don't like stopping power that much due to the added recoil, but that can be a video for another day. For weapons, you should expect to shoot at enemies around 50 meters out. If you don't know how far 50 meters is, it is right outside heartbeat range. There are a lot of long direct sight lines in most of the maps, even if you don't plan to snipe. The possibility of getting flanked while sniping is pretty low, so for the most part, you will be going toe to toe with other snipers. Not spending much time aiming down will be the key to surviving. Grabbing some cover will be ideal, but shooting and moving will be more than enough to make most enemy snipers miss. If you rush up and there are buildings around that you can maneuver through, your favorite SMG or assault rifle will do. RPGs can be powerful too, but make sure you use the amp perk with it to get those rockets out faster. I prefer lethals with the widest area and longest duration of effect since it is easier to get a kill here than in Battle Royale or Plunder. For that reason, I prefer Molotov or C4 along with Heartbeat, Gas Grenade, or Stun Grenades. As for movement, it is better to fight on the edges of the circle. Since the gas does not push you inwards, it's easy to focus only on enemies in front of me and in the middle. Whereas if I'm going up the middle, I can get shot at from the front, my left side, or my right side. So there you have it. Tips and strategies to get you more wins in Wars on Rumble. It's a fast-paced, non-stop action, and a nice break from the normal battle royale mode. I'm going to leave the rest of this video to show one of my wins in this mode. Thank you for watching a Decipherer video, and I hope this helped you in your gameplay.
I'm behind you, Adam. Someone near us. Mark a target. I was sticking out, bro. Really. Yeah. Take that left side again. Dude, honestly, having ghosts is so useful. Everyone's looking at that map to determine someone's here. box if you need Ow. good try I guess <laughs> yeah he must have been AFK right Joe, there's another one. Uh, yeah, that guy. Yeah, he was behind us. Yeah. Well, not directly behind, but sniped you from afar. Or left. Yeah. What's this guy? Did he die? He's dead. Cool. Oh, uh, bullshit. This game should just be called Big Team Snipers. <laughs> Pretty much what it is.